how to use Google Docs. Good day, folks, and welcome to the channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to use Google Docs. And if you're unfamiliar, it is a Google app. You can access it by on your homepage, just going to the dots, the Google apps on the top right hand side, and you can go down and you can access Google Docs. That's what it looks like. And this is what the homepage looks like. So on the left hand side, you have a drop down menu. You can access a couple more Google features and this is now where you start your journey so the first thing you want to do is either choose a blank document and this is basically a completely blank page and you're going to create whatever you're wanting to create straight from that or you can explore some of their templates so having a look here they have tons of templates and if you are looking for something specific you can tap on template gallery and there's an entire list of different templates in subcategories now what we're going to explore today is how to build a resume not for us but for our pet so we have a template that has been made for a pet resume and this is what it looks like so on the left hand side you can see that there is a summary of what this page or what this document has on it and you can actually jump to those specific parts of the document just by tapping on that you can delete it as well just by hitting the x you will remove it completely from the document summary altogether going back now over at the top on the left hand side there is a name it says pet resume you can now rename this just by tapping on that and you can rename it to whatever it is that you would like you can also star it which means it'll be in your favorites column you can move it from its current location which is your cloud storage and then you can just hit save over here and it'll auto save your document so again we're having a look there's a few tools over here and you will pretty much know how to use most of these tools there are lots of formatting tools you can change font font style heading style size color you can also insert hyperlinks you can add comments you can add images you can align your text and there's so much more if you're touching the actual document over here you can actually add a comment you can add an emoji reaction and then you can also suggest an edit now the current form that i'm on now the editing mode if you go up to the right hand side it says editing now this allows me to actually edit the actual document that you see over here completely like you would be able to edit any other document if you tap on that drop down menu there is suggestings so suggestings basically allow you to make suggestions so whatever edits you do it won't change the worksheet or your document it will actually just come up as an edit then we have the viewing tab and that allows you to read or print your final document and you can set this if you don't want to make any changes that's the one that you will choose we're going to leave it on editing for now and here you can go ahead and if you're double clicking on a word it will highlight the word if you're triple clicking on something it will highlight the entire paragraph or the entire line and here you can edit everything you'd like to about it you can change the color you can also change the size you can change the type of font that is used and everything else again if you want to insert images you can change this image you can move it around if you'd like just by clicking down and moving it you can also change the way it interacts with text so you can either wrap it around you can have it in line with break through the text you can have it behind the text or in front of the text and then there are some additional options over here so this is pretty basic and it's pretty great that you have all of these options you can now enter some more summary lines over here as well just by hitting the plus button and then you can enter your document summary over here such as the outro and we're going to just hit enter and it says summary saved and now that will be wherever you put the outro so we are now done editing the actual document what more can we do with it so we have our menu and the first thing on the menu is file here you can open a new document here you can also make a copy of your document you can also share your document with others you can publish it straight to the web email it or you can download it in a bunch of different formats as you can see you can also rename it from here you can move it around you can add a shortcut to your google drive and you can trash it all together going back up to the top 
these are all your editing tools so if you're not using shortcuts or hotkeys this is where you will actually access all of your editing tools and then the view tab basically allows you to view your document differently and it allows you to add print layouts rulers outlines equation toolbars and so forth in the insert tab here you can insert images tables drawings charts and the list goes on there's so much you can actually insert here again under the formatting tab if you're not using any hot keys or if you're not using any shortcut keys here you can format your text your paragraphs the way your text is aligned columns bullets numbering headings footers page numbers orientations and all of the rest of that going now into tools there are a few nice tools over here you have the spelling and grammar tool which is always great if you're not very good with spelling it'll help you out you also got a word count you've got a review your suggested edits so if somebody else is working on this document they can go ahead and make some suggested edits and you can review them all here in one page there's also um, a document comparison tool citations line numbers and so much more if you go down over here then we can get into extensions there are a bunch of add-ons so you can basically integrate some apps into Google Docs if you want them to work better and I think this is a fantastic feature as well then you of course you have your help tab if you're struggling with anything you can go ahead and hit the help tab you can go and get some training have a better understanding of how to use google docs more in depth on the right hand side we have the option to see when last this document was saved you also can open the comment history and what a lovely feature you can actually join a call right here or you can actually create a call so let's say you are working on this document you want somebody else to work on it with you or you would like to show this person a document and you can now just create a google meet over here again you want to share your document you can tap on the share button and it's either private or it's public and you can create a link you can send it to anybody you want and anybody that has that link will be able to then open this document you can then set what you would like them to be able to do so either allow them to create edits as we can do you can also then only allow them to make suggestions and then you can allow them to only view or print that final document and if you need to change your account you can go ahead onto the profile picture over here and everything you will see over here is about your account so you can switch up accounts you can log in log out of alternative accounts and there we go once you're done you've got your document and now you know how to use google docs what i always suggest is go around explore see what every single button does see what options are available and learn how to use the product that you're using to its full potential i hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to drop us a like smash that subscribe button and we'll see you in another awesome video cheerio